In this tutorial, we're going to have a go at changing the terrain on the roller coaster, and we can do that um, by going to scenery and down to terrain settings. So at the moment, you can see that our terrain settings are set to no terrain, but we want to change that and select normal detail, and that brings up the options that we've got available to us here. We've got uh, this texture for our ground and also this texture um, for for water. So if we click on OK, um, you'll still see that the raise or lower terrain tool um, is inactive. To activate it, um, we can go to a 3D view and it now becomes um, active, but we can also change how large an area we can modify. So before we do that, you'll remember as I've explained before, that if we right click on our mouse, we can uh, move around and change our view. And if we left click whilst this uh, view is active, we can actually fly through the sky. So let's fly over this way for a little bit, up into some space, and we'll look back. We might add some uh, a hill beneath that rise that we've got there. So if I lock that into position by right clicking, my mouse now becomes active, and at the moment, you'll see that the um, area that I can modify is quite small. So what I want to do is go to scenery and change the grid um, setting from one by one to five by five. I can now lift up a much larger section. I can pull it down to expose the water below the surface or raise it up. And so that's what I'm um, intending to do. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. I'm not going to go the whole way. And I want to be careful to make sure that I don't accidentally put um, this hill through the middle of my roller coaster. Now that's what I've done, but I'm not going to worry about that. Because what I'll do is I'll change my scenery option and change it from a box into something a little bit more realistic and I'll drop away parts of these features so that it doesn't get in the way. Now remembering that I've actually um, created a inverted coaster, so I need extra space around uh, my roller coaster. So you can start to see what I'm trying to do here. Um, one of the features that works really well when students design um, terrain is to actually create features that are going to enhance the ride. Um, sometimes I see students um, come up with great ideas and that means that uh, I guess their ride is enhanced by uh, modifying the terrain settings. So it takes a little bit of skill and practice uh, to get this right, but we're not just trying to create hills or lakes or, or valleys or crevices um, f for no particular purpose. The idea is that we're actually in, in trying to enhance the ride in some way. Um, so I'll let your um, creativity um, be put to task and to try and come up with some good ideas there. But one last thing I want to show you, shortly I'll come back and I'll show you what I've finished doing um, with the terrain. But we can go back to terrain settings and we can actually change these options. So I could change the grass option which is currently selected to say rock and um, change the colour of the water that I've got exposed. If I just drag that up you can just see it um, to maybe a murky um, color or a deep blue. I like the deep blue, so let's leave it at that. And I can say OK. And you can see now how it's changed um, the color or texture of these um, terrain options. So what I might do is I might make some modifications and then I'll bring you back and show you what so I've done. So you can see now that I've been able to make a few changes um, to the roller coaster's um, terrain. I've added in this large lake out the front and if I fly around, uh, by the way, you can fly around more quickly by holding down the shift button. Um, you can see that I've added in this little range out the back with a lake, or um, with a river, I should say, that sort of runs through um, the middle of the roller coaster ride. And it also separates um, the ornamental trees from the fir trees that I put in out the front here. This enormous hill that I'm flying around, and also a bit of a lake down the front there. So I'm sure you can see that there's 
a fair few possibilities um, that are available to us when we just start to um, fiddle around with the terrain and it really um, enhances the quality of the roller coaster ride. That's the end of this tutorial.